Hello and welcome to this video and to another weekend where we are off to the theatre. So we're meeting up with my family, so my mum, dad and my brother today to go and see Back to the Future. Uh, but as you may be out here, I've got a very sore throat. Now I don't think it's Covid because I haven't been anywhere for about two weeks. Morning Jeff. I haven't been anywhere for about two weeks and I, I don't think I've mentioned it here but work is rough at the moment. I'm essentially trying to fit two full-time jobs in one full-time time. So there's a lot and it's a bit stressful. So I think I'm just a bit run down actually and a bit you know feeling sorry for myself and obviously the weather's changed it's got a bit colder and that always has an effect on health and things like that but either way i've done a little natural flow test this morning because i don't want to be the person that spreads it if i do have it we are four minutes off it being ready and there's just a big line on sea so i'm guessing i don't have it I don't think a lot's going to change in the now three minutes that we've got left to wait. But yeah, not ideal. And those tests are horrible. That one's the worst one I've done. It really, really does make you gag. Um, so yeah, not, not ideal to be feeling like this, but we'll, we'll work through it. I, of course, will be wearing a mask anyway. That will protect people from whatever this is, which I do just think is my body gag. <laughs> will you just stop, please? But that's, that's it on the downer. I'm very excited for today. I got these tickets for my family for Christmas and if I can find the picture that I put on the card, I will do it because it's a work of genius from Pete because me and Jeff are now in the film. But as I say, if I can find that picture, which I think he's still got on his computer, I'll put that in now. So we're going off to the Saturday matinee, which means this little chap, Jeff, he's going to be left for some time because we'll go for dinner afterwards. So I'm planning on taking him for quite a long walk once this test has sorted itself out. Uh, so we might go up to the lake. But I won't show you that because we did that recently in a vlog, so I'll add that up if you're interested to know what I'm talking about. But instead, I will leave you for, with some clips that I took last night of Jeff sleeping in the weirdest position and come back to you after we've been for our walk. So, enjoy Sleepy Jeff. I'm sorry, but what is this? Jeff? Jeff, why are you bent over my leg? Like, surely that's not comfortable. Jeffy Jeff? Have a nice snooze. Just endless clips of Jeff having a snooze. Where you were, eh? Right. Back from the walk a long time ago now. Jeff knows something's going on, so he is in his bed waiting for us to leave so that he can then sit up there and squish my cushions. Um, Pete's here. No, he's not. Pete's here. Um, and we now need to head off to go up to the tube station to get over to Charing Cross because the theatre we're going to is the Adelphi which is on the Strand and I think we saw Kinky Boots there but I get all of these theatres mixed up so off we go we've made it climb the stairs with that right we're going to go that way I think Yeah. 
A man concentrating on what he's going to eat. So much so he doesn't notice. Adam's gone rogue and got a burger. Yeah, slash potato. Thank you. Where is the rest of this um, steak? Oh, Mum's made hers all artistic. Move your arm. Eyebrows on the camera. Little baby queen. That place gives you an ice cream. Caramel. I'm looking as well. <laughs> so that was flat iron. Steak itself is popcorn, and then you pay for sides and sauce, and then you get the free ice cream at the end. So you don't need to bother with the dessert. It went quite well. Um, we're heading home. I'll talk to you about Max Future. But we'll be back there. So I said I'd come back to you when I got home from Back to the Future, and I didn't. So here we are now. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed to go for a run but I'm not going to go for a run. Um, I put this on in the hope and then walk Jeff, who is over here. Jeff. And the small little niggle of a headache that I had when I woke up is getting worse. So I don't think running and bouncing my brain around my skull is going to be a very good idea today. Um, so unfortunately we're not doing that, which is a bit of a pain. I'm also getting the odd little shooting star in my vision, which sometimes means migraine. Um, so hopefully that's not a thing today. But anyway, you don't want to listen to me moan about my woes. Um, you want to hear what we thought, or I thought, because there's no one else around, um, of Back to the Future, the musical. It was really good. It was really good. What I would say about it and my opinion on it is it's the best musical I've ever seen for sort of staging and production. Like, that is the star of the show. That's the thing that I would recommend people going to see if you're... If you're sort of really into how musical theatre has evolved and got more technologically advanced and all of that kind of stuff this is the show that you should go and see to see all of that and obviously it's based on the film back to the future so the story is great and they have lots of they stick to it pretty closely um, and the actors kind of imitating those in the film the guy playing George McFly I think his name is Hugh something Apologies. I always feel really bad that I don't know people's names when I'm talking about their performances, but I never know people's names. But yeah, I think his name's Hugh. Him as George McFly was so good. He had some of the mannerisms, or most of the mannerisms of the George McFly in the film, like down to a T, and then managed to make it work for musical theatre. I would say that the songs probably aren't that great. They're not very strong, although I did like the fact that they put words to the Back to the Future theme tune. That was that was clever and well done. It did seem a bit uh, a character for Doc Brown to have a ballad, but then you've got Roger Bart who was the the voice, the singing voice of Hercules. So he was like nominated for awards for singing um, Go the Distance and all of that. So you're gonna give him a ballad, aren't you? I mean, you're not gonna waste that chance. But it didn't... I don't know, it just didn't... It suited the story, but it just didn't seem to fit the character, if that makes sense. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it, but for me, the production's the star of the show. Pete, who isn't really a musical theatre fan, says it's like one of the best musicals he's ever seen. Um, partly because, obviously, we're a fan of the film. Um, but also because of that staging and obviously because he knows the film, he can follow the story and the music didn't take away, blah, 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 blah. Um, my dad said that he would have preferred the music to relate to the 
time a bit more so when they're in the 80s a bit more 80s inspired music and then 50s inspired music when they're in 1955 however my brother was saying that they did that but sort of slightly subtly so songs that Lorraine Marty's mum was singing were 50s inspired as were the sort of um, Goldie Wilson and obviously Johnny B. Good and all of that were and then when it was Marty McFly singing whether he was in the 80s or the 50s they were 80s inspired because that's his era but I think it was quite subtle and my dad would have wanted it more overt but yeah very impressed by it liked it a lot would recommend people going to see it it's a shame I think there was supposed to be some big thing with the car at the end which didn't work for us I think they had a bit of a chitty chitty bang bang moment where the car just sort of broke I may have been wrong it went up but I think it was supposed to do something else it felt like it was gearing up for that and the end like screen bit was there for quite a while so I imagine they were trying to get them out of the car so if you have seen it and you know what the car was supposed to do please let me know in the comments because we're all kind of intrigued enjoyable really liked it. it was great to actually be able to go out with all the family again to the theatre we haven't done that since Mary Poppins which was the last show that my parents had seen before the lockdown and like the penultimate one for me and my brother um, I'll link the video up here if you're interested loved that show but yeah obviously this is the first time they've come back to London to watch the shows at the theatre and stuff and then we went over to Flatiron we actually went to the one at King's Cross because my mum and dad had to get a train from around there so we thought we'd just eat around there to make it easier for them and it was really nice I was very impressed by Flatiron the food was really good the menu's tiny you can either have a steak or a burger you can't really have anything else with it and then obviously you get your sides but the steak was cooked really nicely so Pete and my dad had it medium rare I was medium, my mum was well done none of us had any complaints with how the steak was cooked my brother had a burger and he said that was really nice um, and then the sides as well the creamed spinach was lovely that was one of the highlights for me and then you obviously they gave you some beef dripping popcorn as you sat down at your table and then they gave you the little tiny little cleaver to uh, go and get your ice cream. I would have liked it if they'd let you sit down at your table and eat it and if it came in a tub but as a free dessert then I'm not going to complain too much because you know I didn't pay for it and it was um, caramel ice cream it was really nice actually the cone wasn't too bad coming from someone who's not a big ice cream cone kind of person so yeah and also it wasn't that expensive so I think it was about we split the bill so it was about £24 per person only me and Pete had alcoholic drinks everyone else was on soft drinks um, and then we shared sides so we got three chips two spinach and an aubergine between us um, which was fine and it worked so yeah, really, really enjoyable day. One of one of the uh, better days I've had in 2021, probably. Although I, towards the end of the year, it's been good. So because you've probably been listening to the sound of my shower for a while, I think I'm going to head off. I'm going to try and make today productive. I'm going to get lots done around the house as I'm not going for a run. Um, so I'm going to end this video here. So if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you fancy it, please go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, which is probably another trip to the theatre because all of my shows that have been postponed are now pretty much back to back. So look forward to that one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.